Here at Northeast Young Dads and Lads, we've been talking to young dads about their experiences of child protection proceedings involving their kids. We started off by asking what advice would they give to social workers? Just for them to like understand a lot more and just take other people's feelings into consideration and just like maybe like ring them up once in a while and explain like, well, this is what's happening with your kids. This is the meetings we're having and the times. I think they just need to take like the father's feelings into consideration as well. Um, it's not all about the mothers. For social services, like for them to change, in my opinion, for them to help, would be if they listen to the both sides. And the day they should treat all the same. That's the problem with the social services that generally do look down on young fathers. Finally, we asked young dads what advice they would give to other young dads. Never judge one social worker by another. With the current social worker, obviously, like I say, is. She explained everything to us. She offered me just as much support as my partner, which obviously they don't usually do that, being unless it's usually offering the mother the support, really. But she offered me just as much as support. Uh, she was always one phone call away, so if I need her, she was there. Ask if you've got like, a worker. Ask them if it's any young dads in your local area. And if it is, they'll go and contact them. To go in open-minded. If you're getting stressed out, just think of the positive outcome of getting your son, getting your daughter, seeing them. If you're not seeing them, just keep it in your head that if you keep an open mind, one day you will see them. Make sure you, like, you write it down as well, what they're seeing, because social services will ask you the same question, but reword it. Stay positive, try and work on you, and, you know, try and just better yourself. Be more active, keep your mind fresh. I used to go for walks, I used to go for runs, I used to go with my friends playing a kickball just to keep your mind motivated and fresh for the next meeting. Never give up there. That'll be my first bit of advice. The second bit of advice is always to let your kids know that you need it. Let them know they need it, let them know obviously you're there for them, you know, they want you sort of thing. Fight all the way, keep yourself going. Make sure if you've got a meeting, make sure they're like 10 to 15 minutes early. So then they kind of use that against you, that you were late. Keep your children in one mind all the time. I've got my daughter living with me. She's in my full time care. I mean, we don't have any social work involvements anymore. Make sure you check out our DigiDad page where there is more information to help you understand about the processes involved.